Are you ready? Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? In this video, we're going to be diving into another awesome geocaching resource for your geocaching career. Let's take a look. Here we go. Okay guys, this resource is going to be super beneficial for anybody that has ever tried to do a reverse wear go. If you've never done a reverse wear go, you know, they can be tedious, they can be time consuming, and they can straight out be a hassle. So we're gonna dive into the, what's known as the reverse where go solver. And we're gonna show you an awesome resource that helps you figure out exactly the location of these tricky reverse where goes. And what it does is this website uses the three numbers on the cache page, and then it triangulates its location and pinpoints the exact area. Okay, so before we dive into the website that solves these reverse where goes for you, I wanna take you through the cache page to show you what I was referencing when it comes to the three numbers on the page. And you'll scroll down and you'll see all this stuff about the original cartridge and how to get that on wherego.com. Don't worry about any of that. The only thing you need to know are these three numbers right here because what happens is you're gonna take each number individually and you're going to copy and paste it from the geocaching um, website to the website that does the triangulation for the reverse where go, which then reveals the coordinates, which then will show you where the cache is actually hidden. Um, this is gonna save you a bunch of time and a bunch of driving. And yeah, it kind of takes some of the fun out of it. If you don't wanna do it this way, that's totally fine. But again, this is a resource that's going to help speed up your re your geocaching career and make your um, make your life so much easier. And actually, it will increase your e efficiency. Okay, Triple P. So, what is this awesome website that you're trying to tell us about? So, you're going to go to Google.com. You're going to type in Reverse Where Go Solver. Hit Enter. And the very first link that you want is what you're looking for. I realize I spelled solved instead of solver, but it's fine. You'll click on that and it will take you to the geocaching tools website, uh, which is the website you're going to want to use in order to crack these reverse where it goes. You'll see there are three boxes here. There's one for the first number, one for the second number, and one for the third number. Um, what you have to do is you have to take those numbers that are on the cache page, copy them, and then paste them in each one of these individual boxes and then hit decrypt in order to um, get the coordinates that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now that you have the reverse where go page up and ready to go, we're going to walk you through this step by step. We're gonna take the first number here, highlight it, click copy. We're gonna click over to here. We're gonna hit paste and it paste it right into there. Let's do the same thing. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Same thing, second number, put it in the box. Hit control V on your keyboard and it should paste it right in there. We're gonna do the same thing, copy it, go back over, hit control V, and it should paste it right in there. Now, all you have to do is hit decrypt right here and it will spit out the exact location of the coordinates for this reverse where go. And I will walk you through the final step. So you're gonna highlight these, copy them or cut them, either one, go back to the cache page, which you were originally on, then you're gonna click on the little pencil or pen right here, which will bring up the uh, solve coordinates or the corrective coordinates box. You're gonna click that, hit Control V. It will paste the coordinates that were on here right onto the reverse where go page that you're interested in doing. You're gonna hit submit, and then you'll hit accept, and you have officially cracked the code. You've officially solved where the reverse where go is on the map. So let's actually take a look at the map to see where this one ended up being. Okay, so to make this super simple, once you have the corrective coordinates put into place, or hit view larger map, and what it will do is it will bring up the map. There is the spot on the map where the geocache is located. Now you can zoom out all you want and it will give you a bigger picture of where you're gonna be going. You could also zoom in. If you go over here to browse geocaches, it will bring up every single geocache that is in the area. Let's go ahead and put on the satellite map and it will show you exactly the aerial footage 
of where it is. All right, guys, so I hope you like this tutorial on um, reverse where goes. Like I said, it's a really good tool. It will pick up your efficiency, it will save you time, and um, it will tell you exactly where you need to go instead of driving through all the traffic wondering how far away you are, hitting the guest button on the where go cartridge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this resource. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can help me reach my sub goal of 140 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.